Okay, so this is World of Tank Blitz. Uh, it looks like a, I don't know, seven-on-seven seven battle. I've got a... It's really weird with this, uh... The sniper mode is a pain in the ass. No indicator for the auto-aim. Can't hold down the mouse button to fire. So much easier to use the regular world of tanks. Okay, so I mean the graphics are okay and everything, but I really think it's confusing. Uh, they made it too simple and uh, I don't like the way it functions. I hope it doesn't do this all the time. So I'm going to do an upgrade, uh, obviously, which is going to give me a better gun. So I guess you don't load it with ammo or anything like that. And it looks like a flat uh, reward. Yeah, you know, when you play a game, you want to know if the game has a lot of depth or not. Uh, because it doesn't show the texture, it gives the implication that the game does not have any depth. You only see this one vehicle. You know, the reason why I play different games is because I want to advance through all the different levels. And if you can't see it, there might as well be none. And why don't they have these maps in the regular World of Tanks? I mean, if it works for World of Tank Blitz... It's a little confusing that the minimap is on the opposite side. I don't like the way the auto aim works. You know, I have no idea if it's on or off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fun to play. I mean, the thing that I don't like about it is the auto-aim control and the sniper control. They're, they're just absolutely horrible. It's nice that the game starts a lot faster. So the enemy's not really shooting at me. Big incentive to get closer. No indicator when you enter or release the auto-aim. No audio, no visual, nothing. Gone. Find us 
And again, holding the mouse button really doesn't have any effect on uh, firing. So I gotta press, and you know, I gotta press the button more than once. And I changed the audio setting. I changed it to reduce the volume of the audio and it's still too loud. So I'm gonna try again to go into the audio settings. I hate the loud audio. So I got the volume at 12%. I mean, how much lower does it gotta go? Okay. Let's see if we can research a tank. Uh, the answer is yes. I'm gonna purchase it with my amazing amount of cash. Fight a battle in a tier two tank. Game starts pretty quick. It's going to be on the map mines, it says. Seems like the tank moves really slow. I don't like the fact that they put the map on the left. I really think they should put it on the right because I keep expecting to look to the left. have no idea if we're playing against robots or uh, or not. Turn the audio down, it obviously doesn't do anything. It does show the reload for everybody. So I don't know how much damage I'm doing to him or not. No idea if the auto aim is on him or not. He's gone. Find us another target. And I don't know how much damage I caused in the game. I know I, it says I got five kills, but I don't see anything with damage information. Okay, there's no stats after the game, you know, when the battle's finished. I guess that's the stats right there. 
I got 890 damage. So I think I've won every game. I've got like a 100% win rate. Get a 50% bonus to your reward for this battle. I'm going to guess that you got to pay for it. Yeah, you got to pay for it using gold. Purchase a tank of another nation. Okay, now we get to see a tech tree. Um, unfortunately, we can't control... Can't scroll. It's not scrolling through the tech tree. Yeah, and it's going through this. You know, I don't like it when the game tells me, forces me to view something. I really don't like that. And why do I have to pick one for another nation? See, I can't go back to the UK. You know, I don't like... That's not the way games are supposed to work. And then they claim that this is easier. No, it's not easier. If it were easier, uh, I would get to do what I want to do. I don't want to play a tank of another nation. I want to play the same tank I was playing, and it won't let me do that. So it's forcing me to play another country. And I guess I have to buy it. And it's misleading. It says purchase. But, you know, people are going to think, am I spending money on this? It should say, you know, purchase with uh, in-game credits. I received 250 gold. That's amazing. And I got 10 messages. That's really cool. I'm sure I got some real... Oh, look at all these exciting messages from Three Dragons, etc. Okay, so it's a little little weird uh, maybe people like playing it but if you play world of tanks and you think oh i'm gonna play world of tank blitz it's gonna be so awesome i don't know it's it, i don't enjoy playing it so much it's cumbersome i am gonna possibly try playing on my tablet if you have any questions or comments please post below